Good morning. I look so rough. <laughs> Hold please. Bam! So much time has passed. If I could get ready that fast every day, I would always look presentable, not the way I do. <laughs> no! Come on. I have been loving doing like very simple eyes, but with like the tear line, island, what is it called? Just to pop a color there. So I bought a few colors and I'm trying different ones out. I don't think I like pink because I feel like it kind of just looks like my eyes are like red and gonna be watery. Are you getting that too or no? I did like a green the other day and that was really cool. I've done blue, love blue. So I'm just trying to find like the right color, but I think it's cool because it's like very like natural looking but then it adds a little spice you know what I mean my kitchen is pretty much done I've gotten a lot of people asking like where certain things are from and it's so funny because majority of it is from Amazon so I'm gonna show you my favorite favorite kitchen finds on Amazon I've been a little bit out of control Okay, moderately out of control. Still working on some decor stuff. I did get two pieces in that I'll show you. <sighs> Should I show you? I'll show you. Once all this stuff is up, it's gonna be so cute. Like, I'm so excited. In the middle of this big wall, I got this wood piece from World Market and I'm obsessed with it. It has like a few pieces that come out that are shelves. One of them was broken in delivery, so I have to fix that. But you could put like a candle or like a little plant or like random things on those. So that's gonna go in the very middle of the wall. And then I have two plants things that are gonna go on the sides of it, but those haven't arrived yet. But I'm freaking so excited for those. I also got this mirror. So cute little dome top. It's one of those where it folds at the bottom, but I think I'm gonna put it up on the wall so it'll be right here in this space and then the middle wood thing and those two things oh also i finally found stools for the little movable island these are from wayfair and i'm obsessed with them because they're super wide so you don't feel like you're like falling off of them and then they have this like foot stool kind of thing on them too but they fit perfectly within this and i feel like it just goes with everything Quick pause because today's video is sponsored so perfectly because we're talking about the kitchen today. By Green Chef, we got a package. <coughs> if you don't know about Green Chef, they are a company that does organic meal kits. And by the way, they're CCOF certified so you know that they're legit. They sent me a package and I'm so pumped because life has just been crazy busy. I'm really trying to start being more intentional about what I put in my body. But it's been really hard to find that balance because I'm literally always on the go and I don't always have time to go shopping and I don't always have time to just like do everything that comes with like cooking a meal. They sent me three meals, creamy paprika shrimp, Mediterranean chicken, and cranberry barbecue pork chop. Oh my god. Not only does every meal come with everything you need like pre-packaged and like measured out and everything in the bags as well as your meats, but the directions are just amazing. Like so stinking clear. So clear. And they literally have options for everyone, whether you're keto, whether you're vegan, paleo, gluten-free, vegetarian, any type of preference that you have. They definitely have options for you, which I think is really cool. And again, like I mentioned, everything is like pre-made and pre-measured, which especially if you're cooking for one, like sometimes you buy stuff that like comes in this big old package and you only use a little bit of it and then it goes to waste and you waste money. So it's just top notch. So if this sounds like something you're interested, you can use my promo code Taryn130 at greenchef.com for $130. I repeat, $130 off your first box plus free shipping. So go to greenchef.com and use promo code Taryn130. Here is the kitchen. I love I feel like everything just flows so well together and I'm literally so happy. So from this point forward, everything I show you is from Amazon. I will try my hardest to remember and link everything in my Amazon storefront. So put everything in like the kitchen section. Although I'm just remembering that in the last video, I said I would link something and I didn't. 
I am a dish rack girly. I know not a lot of people are, but I think because I've lived with roommates, I'm the type that like I'll use a dish and I wash it and I put it in the rack and then I put them away later. So I knew I wanted one, but I wanted to make sure it was like aesthetic and it wasn't like too bulky. So I found this one on Amazon. It's a two rack and then what's really cool is it has these trays that collect the water. It doesn't have to be like directly connected to the sink. It can kind of like stand on its own and then I just like clean those out later. It has something for silverware and again another little catch tray. And then also a little thing over here for a towel. So I've been obsessed with it. It's, it's definitely small. So it's kind of nice because it's only for like quick dishes. Like I used this earlier this morning, it's already dry. So I can just like put it away and boom, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. So yeah, definitely been obsessed with this. I got this little paper towel rack. That's again, just like the black and wood, which is kind of the theme of the kitchen. The only thing is it's really light. I have to like hold it with two hands, which is not like a significant problem, but that's just a note I will add. For washing dishes, Ashley got this a while ago and it literally changed Changed our lives it was one of the first things I bought because that's how much I love it and like my mom uses it now and everything this dishwashing brush set is next level so you fill it with water and then some pumps of soap it has like a springboard in there that you can take out to clean it easy too but you just like pump it a couple times and then the brush is like all sudsy and filled with soap and you wash and then can put it right back in. This is like, I can't recommend this enough. For my dish soap and hand soap, I just got these like simple black bottles that came with these stickers. They came with some extra ones, so I'll be able to switch those out, but they're already kind of dirty, so I'm interested to see how they hold up the first time I like really clean the bottles, but I think they're so cute and it goes just like so well with everything. I got this super cute coaster set. I like them because they're super thin, but they do have a lip to like catch liquid. I also like how many came with it because I know that I'm gonna like ruin some or lose some, but like look how cute it still looks if you just have a few in there, you know? Not a few, but you get it. This is my little coffee section. I just got the simple one serving Keurig as well as the frother from Keurig because most of the time I'm just making like one cup in the morning for myself, so love it oh i also got this bad boy from amazon oops it's just a simple wire container that holds all my like bigger utensils that i keep on the countertop which i feel like is so cute this uh cutting board is actually from my oma so i like just having it there because it's like a little piece of her this guy actually if you remember it used to be in my bathroom and i used it for like skincare stuff so i had like my serums and like moisturizers and stuff on it and then i ended up doing something different with my background it's so perfect in the kitchen it's just a clear little organizer but what's nice is you can control where the shelves go so like I left the shelves out of this one so I could put like my cooking sprays and then I have all the different spices and things that I use there so I'm a big fan of this so like aesthetically pleasing too right I'm also still working on organizing like my cupboards and stuff but I got these clear things from Amazon and I feel like they're perfect sizes to put things in um, I want to get like labels and different things for them as well, but I feel like they just organize everything so well. Okay, another thing I've been obsessed with is I got this like little handheld vacuum. It looks like that and it has like two speeds. But this has been so nice to just have in like cleaning up after I'm cooking or my nephew's <laughs> eating on the couch. There's always like crumbs everywhere and it's nice to just have a little handheld one to just like clean simple messes instead of having to like fully get out like my vacuum or broom. This is definitely a must. Another thing that I got that's so cute. So I have this little, this actually I got from Target and the candle too I got from Target. But it's kind of like the little centerpiece on the island. But these, because again, everything's like the black and like wood kind of color so I got these little matches and they're all black the striker pads on the bottom which I think is brilliant but I feel like it's just so cute right there like so cute but yes that is <laughs> Well, so. I've always known I was a nester, but I've never really had a place that I could like decorate the whole entire thing And my air conditioning is so loud. Do you hear it? It works really nice though, so I can't complain. Ryan is like so chill, so he's always like, I don't care, like do whatever. So that's been nice to like have creative control of that. Do you see this spot on the wall? So the movers did that, and I'm just nervous because when I've cleaned spots on walls before, especially like paint, like textured like this, whatever you touch, it makes like the whole section of the wall look off. 
So I'm really scared of like how to clean that. So if you guys have any tips, I mean I have a magic eraser so I was gonna try that. But again, I'm just scared it's gonna turn into like a whole big section of the wall that looks weird. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> Help. I've had a Lego set that I've been wanting to build for a long time. I'm excited because it's a smaller one. So it's like one I feel like I could build super quick in one setting. I saw a few comments the other day of people asking me to post some Lego content. And uh, you know I will do that gladly. Please enjoy this little time lapse of me building. Surprise, surprise, the Star Wars Lego. Thank you. 